वेलकम बैक गाइस दिस इज द सेशन नंबर सिक्स रिलेटेड टू एडब्ल्यू एस सीरीज तो लास्ट क्लास वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट दैट इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एज ए सर्विस प्लेटफॉर्म एज ए सर्विस एंड सॉफ्टवेयर एज ए सर्विस I think those are people are watching first time this series. Please go watch last video which are available in the YouTube. Uh, just go through one more time for your reference purpose. Just I am. This is the last session, session number five. Video are available. So here you can easily understand this point. If you want the notes. and you can find one link in the description video description there is a note section note is there it is a facebook group there you can collect this uh, class notes also so just uh, infrastructure as a service the google is uh, sorry aws providing that three services infrastructure as a service platform as a service and software as a service no no infrastructure as a service they are providing ec2 like elastic cloud computing Sorry, elastic uh, computing cloud they are providing. Okay, when you get with the infrastructure as a service, then you go with that infrastructure as a service. Then your responsibility is the like maintaining the security database and application operating system. They are only providing virtualization hardware kind of thing. Okay, when you go with that uh, like uh, platform as a service, they are providing the up to the operating systems. Uh, provider uh, take care of the operating system so that service is the elastic bean stock then we use this service then we can use us that like uh, uh, what is that uh, platform as a service if you go with that software as a service no need to take care of it just go to the service provider like aws and the aws is take care of about all these things so now this is the last Uh, scalability and uh, elasticity and uh, high availability is the three topic is the major topic the aws is providing so how you can identify that this is the uh, uh, like best uh, architecture for that uh, your application okay so now this video is for that only so let's go inside this okay so suppose we have uh, what is that uh, one application okay one application now i want to deploy that application inside that uh, we are uh, ec2 instance suppose we are uh, we are just focusing on that uh, which part the infrastructure as a service that ec2 instance so i want to deploy ec2 instance inside the ec2 instance i want to deploy the my application so first part is come into that okay Okay, what is that elasticity? Elasticity is elasticity is okay. elasticity. You know the meaning of the elasticity is the reward reward kind of thing. Reward we have in the old days, olden days we have one reward and stretch it and stretch down. When you leave that reward elastic, then it will stretched out. Okay, A stretch in, stretch out kind of thing. It is there. So same is in the inside the server is there. the AWS providing elasticity. Okay, uh, they can improve that servers. They can decrease the servers. Okay, that is the meaning the elasticity of this. This is the automatically it will happen. Uh, not uh, required to do anything for the manually. Okay, when they identify that uh, they are requiring a more servers, more server, more traffic is come, then. Uh, they will increase that servers automatically suppose we have that just i am showing that example to you okay just taking the shapes okay i think we need to take this one is a great so suppose <clears throat> uh, we can interact direct with our application in the real time no what is that mediator in the if you are uh, uh following my last videos then you can un easily understand what is the interaction in that application first we are going inside the lv <clears throat> okay so this is our okay this is our three servers four servers right okay this is our four servers where we deploy our applications suppose we are uh, just uh, focusing on which <clears throat> 
you have to take care about that uh, what is that mm -hmm. what is that uh, facebook application we can take a true example look at facebook i can do the small size like 14 is good okay facebook.com okay facebook I deploy the facebook here okay and facebook here facebook here okay okay so we are deploying a facebook application with the different different machines this is our manual work okay so otherwise you can take our clip card so you can understand easily okay clip card because sale is coming clip card for your understand for understanding purpose i am just change Okay. Cannot record this, not record this. This flip card we have. Flip card kind of application. Suppose flip card having a flip card having this application. Now here we have load balancer. What is that? LB. In the short term, we call a load balancer. Okay. Then who is the giving uh, uh, response to you? Who is user? Suppose this is the user. Okay, just this is nothing but a user. Okay, assume this is that user. User. So like that. So user give the request to your server user gives request to your server load balancer and what is that load balancer to load balancer load balancer is the identifying that the server is which server is up which server is down okay and load balancer is how to work at the with method is following round robin method load balancer like go first second third fourth then again first second third fourth like that then this will load balancer is distribute the request for your multiple applications okay who is the responsible for distributing your uh, uh, request load balancer is the responsible right so <laughs> okay this is not legit okay so now so now you can understand easily here about every every uh, servers having 4 4 gb ram right so now when that application get got more traffic more traffic more traffic okay in the flip card big million day sale will come now when the big million sale will come then they need a more servers more servers now so do you think the flip card people go and create the servers manually again and deploy that application again like do you think they are go okay they are go and uh, create a one server like it's taking a time and go and check your application and taking that application put inside the server no this is not happening in the real time right this is not okay this is not a working real time it's happening okay it's only happening what is that Only it's happening in the elasticity. AWS automatically uh, create a servers, okay, and deploy that application. That is nothing but the what is that? That is nothing but then AWS create one servers, okay. AWS is the responsible to create. Servers, okay. 
like that so this meaning <clears throat> when the traffic is come more traffic is there inside that uh, some days okay so flip card or uh, like uh, aws uh, configuration increase that server okay so that meaning elasticity elasticity means stretching that servers okay like number of servers we are increasing right if you when the aws uh, sorry when the flip card sale is end then do you think the server is available no the server will delete after that sale is end server will delete okay if you any server just i'm giving up one example to you a so lot of servers they will get it <clears throat> they will provide one configuration like maximum two and minimum sorry maximum 10 minimum two okay up to th two it will uh more than two it not down only it's two is still available it's and up to 10 it will goes increase that servers okay so that is the meaning of scalability so how we can achieve the scalability in aws now the question is coming the question is coming. The question is coming. The question is how to how to achieve achieve elastic scalability like elasticity city in AWS. Right. So, this is the most important question. People will ask how to achieve, how to achieve, what is that, elasticity in AWS. So, now you can simply answer that question. We have elasticity by using, what is that, scale out and scale in. So, that scale in, scale out, we can say the auto scale in by using by using auto scaling auto scaling auto scaling by using auto scaling we can achieve that what is that we can achieve that we can achieve we can achieve elasticity city right so what is that meaning of auto scaling right so what is that meaning of auto scaling guys so meaning of auto scaling is nothing what here auto scaling is auto scaling auto scaling equals to what is that scale out scale out right what is that scale out and scale out and scale in scale in right right we have two thing in the scaling of auto scaling so now they are asking how to achieve auto how to achieve elasticity in any aws in the aws cloud service provider like cloud service provider right so you can simply say by using auto scaling we can achieve that and by using scale out and scale in so scale out is scale out is means scale out means means scale out means changing the colors yeah so scale out means increasing using the server number of server right number of servers and scale in means decreasing using the number of servers right so we have a two things what is that first we have scale out by using scale out we can increase the server right by using scale out here you can get the guess here we are increasing the server right this server we are increasing by using scale out okay uh, by using scale in that decrease the server why because traffic is come so not required to right 
not required to what is that not required this server so they will uh, delete the servers okay and you should put a same application inside this uh, these servers okay don't change it so up to this it's clear to you guys so by using elasticity elasticity is that nothing but huh? this is a uh, so now here you can see elasticity elasticity <clears throat> pairing my base okay elasticity 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 is short term is short term why we are calling short term well, because these are short term you know sale is come then the server is increasing sale is goes and then sale is goes uh, sale is and then server will delete it right so that meaning is the it's a short term process so this is the meaning of elasticity it's a short term process okay it's a short term process guys so now next point is now and elasticity is the elasticity is also called the horizontal scaling wow horizontal scaling it's which type of scaling this is horizontal scaling elasticity is horizontal tell scaling horizontal scale right so now this is our point guys this is our total point about the elasticity so now you can understand easily understand the load balancer will distribute the take the request then uh, redirect the request to your application related to your application okay how they are just they are putting the your name okay like they are want the flip card then go into this when the traffic is more they will increase the size of servers here number of server is increasing we are not increasing the what is the capacity of the servers like this is the 4 gb ram we are not doing this is the 5 gb we can increase the size of that uh, servers no we we will not we we are only uh, increasing the number of servers okay not uh, what is that not uh, that uh, increasing that uh, capacity of the servers okay so now next point is up to this is completed next point is scalability guys scalability okay so same is scalability scalability okay second point is scalability okay scalability so now you can understand easily uh, this is the simple very very simple suppose <clears throat> scalability suppose we have a one database okay suppose that we have one database with that uh, where is my database okay suppose this is our database guys it's our database okay so db is db servers so we created uh, we created one uh, machine for this database we are creating one machine for the database okay this is the e sheet 2 we can say this is the one servers with that uh, like 16 gb ram like 16 or 8 gb okay like 16 gb ram right we create this server with that 60 gb ram guys understand we created this search rams and we have inside the database db server we have db servers with the <clears throat> db servers suppose we have multiple databases like hundreds of like 2000 200 db are there database here the different different 200 database are there so now, no, no, no. We are storing five TB, five terabyte of storage, five TB data, like ten TB. We can take oh, more that so we can understand easily. Ten TB terabyte data we are storing in the DB. So now this is that <clears throat> easy process 
to increase that uh, number of servers here. This is the 4 GB RAM. So here we need a uh, suppose the user gives a request to you. Hey, mm, something like that. Just I am using here because okay. 2 GB is 10 gigabyte and this is 60 GB RAM here. Okay. So now so user give a request to you. User give a request to you that uh, here this is that user. Okay, user giving the request like accessing this database and it's a down, it's a slow, it's giving a response to that uh, user, it's uh, taking a time. So that user said to you, please performance is down your application. So what you can do? So you have a scalability features. So just increase that <clears throat> machine capacity here. You can increase the machine capacity like EC2 capacity like we have previously we have 16 GB now we can increase the 32 GB RAM. GB now. Yeah. What is that meaning? Now here what what is doing here guys? We are just increasing that capacity of that server, not increasing at uh, number of servers. So this is the meaning of scalability. Okay. So here we can say scalability, scalability is nothing but scale up, scale down, right? So here just we are doing what is that, scale up, okay? Here we do scale up, scale up. Now when the requirement is down, then you can scale down, right? This is the meaning of scale down. So here just I am writing some simple points to for your uh, reading purpose. So now understand when we are when we are how to achieve scalability. How to achieve scalability? They are asking to you. So suppose the question is asking how to how to achieve scalability. Ability. Then you uh, give an answer to your interviewer answer what is that okay yes, sir. okay give the answer to that person by using <coughs> simple by using that is that by using increasing that increasing increasing capacity of City of server. Okay. What is that we are increasing here? Example. Example. Previous we have. Previous we have. 16 GB RAM. 16 GB. 10 GB RAM. RAM server. RAM server. Right. Then the traffic is coming. Then uh, like. Your server is down, then your server is down, like scale down. What is that? When when your your server is scaled down, what is that? Scale down down, then then you should and you should increase that increase the capacity of server like capacity like increase the ram of server like 16 gb to 10 gb 16 to 32 gb this is the examples guys okay so now this is the meaning okay So now, how to scalability we can identify? Okay. So scalability is scalability is scale up scale up and scale down 
fell down. That's it. So now next point is scalability is long term functionality. The scalability 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 is long term term okay it's not a short short term when you increase that size uh, 16 gb to 32 gb it's a long term it will take that things okay so now scalability is also called the vertical scaling what is that it's calling scalability ability is vertical scaling well scaling right vertical scaling it is what is it having vertical scaling so this is about scaling so now i think you understood what is my meaning and trying to understand agar suppose here we need a uh, your server is down then we need a uh, we need to increase that server in the scalability features we increase the number of capacity not number of servers but in the uh, elasticity we are increasing number of servers okay, we are not uh, there we are not increasing the capacity of the servers so by using this so now next coming to the next topic next is our uh, is, uh, high availability it's very very important high availability okay high availability high availability high availability you can say yet like high availability we have right High availability. High availability. Mm -hmm. High availability. High availability. Huge. Okay. So now this is the spelling is correct right now. So check what is that high availability. High availability means no downtime is there so that server is called high availability suppose in the uh, bank we have a servers now we have a bank websites there you can access the your bank website in the mid of the night also there you can access easily okay this means they are providing the high availability right so that's why this is the simple meaning you can understand high availability so now my term is I'm just writing some definition to you for the your understanding. The period of time, the period of time, period of <clears throat> of time, the period of time, <clears throat> what is that? The period of time, the services is available. Available to the user to the user is called high availability right the period of time the period of time the period of time the period of time the service is available is called high availability suppose the period of time same definition is the period of time the period of time service is not is not available to the user is called what is that is called downtime called downtime what is the downtime right these two things we need to understand. Okay. So just I am giving one uh, diagram to you. Okay. Who is the responsible for this purpose? Like downtime, all these things. I am just giving that. So this is nothing but when you are having the applications. When you are having the applications. So which this is. Who is this person? 
एल बी एल बी इज द इम्पोर्टेंट एल बी ओके लोड बैलेंसर ओके लोड बैलेंसर इज डूइंग मोर वर्क फॉर यू only three box three servers we are taking right now great okay so here we have app app right three app we can take okay this is the application be deployed in this application be deployed this is the application deployed okay who is the responsible for that uh, uh, health check health check health check okay this is deployed okay the load balancer give the request to this server okay i need a response suppose this server is down health check is performing by that load balancers okay that it is uh, monitoring that health check also who is the monitor health check load balancer is monitoring health check health check if this server is up suppose this server is up then this gives response to the load balancer load balancer first it will check that health check okay this server is healthy or unhealthy suppose this server is giving to a response for 04 means not found then the load balancer give the request to another server they are identify easily uh, load balancer is easily identify that this server is down health is not good okay then this server send to request another servers okay then this is also down okay then this servers goes to the third request to the third server so these are happening in the round robin fashion okay the load balancer work is there so load balancer is check what is that check load balancer is the responsible to check that health of that uh, of, of, <laughs> health of your servers your applications right load balancer is responsible perfect who is the responsible just i'm writing here what is that health check health check up healthy healthy or like unhealthy Unhealthy. Yeah, this is checking. So suppose this is server is healthy and giving response to that two zero zero. Suppose they are uh, returning the response to that. Uh, what is that? What is that? They are returning response to you. Okay, they are uh, returning response to you uh, like two hundred. So load balancer is easily identify that this is the perfectly. Then this will uh, give the response to that user. This will give the response response to that user. Here yeah, this is giving response to the user. Suppose this is that user. Then they will give the response to that user. Okay, first this give the request to the load balancer. Okay, load balancer will check that. What is that? Health check. Like two hundred, we got two hundred, we got. So we get two hundred status code. So, means it's easily identified. This is that perfect server. Like it's working. Everything is going good. So that is meaning that. Uh, what is that meaning? Your server is perfectly working. So now, so here we give that uh, DNS name, na www dot com like kind of thing. We are giving www dot flipkart dot com app like vivek dot com, itsp dot com like that. We can do. And that if what is that browser need in the previous session? Those are people watching in the mid last sessions. Last sessions, they can easily understand. what is that uh, meaning of uh, uh, dns 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 okay so here it will identify the dns 
DNS domain name servers. Here we are not putting that uh, IP address kind of thing because they are these are having different different servers, different different IP addresses. Here we just putting one name, not the domain. Like suppose we make uh, itsp.com. Okay, so those are people no new to me, new to here. Those are not understanding. Then user will enter only itsp.com. Then they can easily go and uh, check in the DNS. DNS will identify the IP address related to this, and this will go give to that uh, your uh, server, server like load balancer, load balancer distribute that your request to your application servers. So this is now up to this is clear high availability mean. Here is the total high availability. If one server is down, it, if one server is down, then it will go in, suddenly it will go inside the second servers. Okay. Okay, here, here you can understand here. Load balancer is LB doing LB is doing what is that? LB is doing LB do LB is doing LB doing what is that? LB doing monitoring monitoring for your application application right they are performing okay so LB is checking that all these things. So now next point is our come into that mind when you go with that uh, like high availability so we need to check three things if you go inside the, the any architecture you are seeing okay any pictures any they are showing up on diagram to you like this is that diagram we are planning this application like that so you can easily identify that this is the drawbacks where we can add the server like we have three things first is the escape elasticity like increasing the servers and decreasing the servers then second we have what is that uh, uh, auto is uh, like that uh, where what is that uh, <laughs> sorry what is that we have guys scalability right scalability we have what is that scalability we have and uh, next point is high availability we can check these three major major points this is the pillar of any architecture in the aws okay so easily you can identify if you, these three things is follow in that architecture then you can say this is the perfect architecture okay so now if you want to see that high availability you cannot identify by seeing these things okay just i am giving these examples to you by using you can three things. What is the RMF? RMF you can see if the RMF is available. RMF is nothing but RMF is nothing but what is that? RMF is nothing but RMF. RMF RMF means redundancy. Here you can say R means redundancy. 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 Now second is monitoring. Monitoring. Third thing is failover. 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 Redundancy means if any servers, we can deploy your application with that multiple servers. We cannot deploy your application in single server. If you can identify, if you identify your, uh, if you identify that they are, uh, if they are deploying our application with that multiple server then you can say this is the redundancy is there okay monitoring if you are facing the load balancer is there like what is that if load balancer is checking load balancer is checking monitoring means if the monitoring is the load balancer is checking your application is reachable or not Okay, then easily you can say monitoring is perfectly failover. Failover means it automatically restart, like uh, goes down. Other server will take that request. Okay, 
So now just I'm giving a definition for these. <clears throat> oh, see. Okay. See. Now here you can understand what is that. Uh, redundancy. <clears throat> redundancy keeping your application application with multiple multiple servers servers then you can call then you can call we can we are <clears throat> achieving redundancy achieving 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 redundancy perfect now what is that monitoring if your load of lb is is checking if your your, your load balancer are checking your load balancer are checking if your load balancer are checking your application is reachable reachable or not if this is perfectly reachable then it can say okay now your failure means if <clears throat> if one server if one server is down down then it will then it will send a request request to another server another server so this is the meaning of redundancy and failover if any application you can see these th these uh, three things in any application you can see this is the high availability application is there so easily so now how we can achieve high availability How we can achieve high availability by using three things like redundancy, monitoring, and failover. So, how we can achieve the zero downtime? So now, my question is how we can achieve the zero downtime by using fault tolerance? We can say like auto scaling. Zero downtime is by using auto scaling in real, uh, like some other term, we can say auto scaling and fault tolerance also here we are achieving the uh, here we are achieving uh, <laughs> here inside this we are achieving uh, uh, what is that we are achieving high zero downtime na uh, when the this server is down when the this server is down when the server is down guys when <clears throat> When this server is down, okay, this server is down. This is my pen. Okay. When this server is down, when this server is down, okay, when this server is down, then it will take it to another server easily. So we can achieve the downtime by using this. This is also when server. Okay, so this is the agenda of today's session. Okay, next session we are going to some other topics we are going to learn. So, tata kele tata bye bye good night. We will meet the next session next topic ke saath. So, aapko ye notes main description mein de dunga. Thiya, thank you.